hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Hope you like starch. <laughs> I was trying to guess what your intro would be, and that was not it. That was definitely not it. I was it. assuming you would just go, potato! No, no, no. Guess what, guys? We gave it away. It's National Potato it's Day. National. Is it international or just National Potato Day? I know. Look it up this uh, time. <laughs> while I look it up, welcome to another Bunny Ears mini-sode. I am Matt Cohen, joined by your illustrious host. I am Kieran Culkin now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm my other brother. And of course, it's Sunday, August 19th, National Potato Day. What up, what up? What up, American Potatoes? I hope you're all celebrating. Um, as you know, National Potato Day got started in 2002. And it says, <laughs> as we all know. Yeah. And it says, potatoes reach their silver screen peak in this famed cameo from Lord of the Rings Two Towers. What? <laughs> you, guys, you guys need to go to nationaltoday.com and look up Potato Day because it is fascinating and wonderful. So and, and it has something to do with uh, Peter Jackson. Did you know there are over 4,000 kinds of potatoes? Uh, well, I didn't know that amount, but I knew that actually there is a rich tapestry of potatoes out yeah, there. Yeah, that seems, that seems like there's more potatoes than there are butterflies. 4,000? Yes, yes. Actually, and you know what? Potatoes have more chromosomes than human beings. What? Yeah. Is that why they have so many eyes? Yeah. Uh, actually, no, they actually have a thing like with McDonald's and all these fast food kind of places like once a year where they meet like, you know, I don't know. I'm going to guess Idaho. <laughs> but uh, they try to figure out what what kind of potato they're going to use that It's year. like the potato Illuminati. Yes. It's like the Bilderberg group, but but it's just potato yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it's There's is, like yeah. statues of owls and they have to take their shirts off, but yes. they just <laughs> describe like, oh, uh, the, the uh, red delicious uh, Yukon. Uh, yeah, a potato. Year. You know, oh, they're all. Even if they live in America, they have to speak with that accent. Yeah, exactly. Oh no, and that's the thing is that, like, you know, I'm Irish. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 and it's a proud part of me, so that's yeah. why I talk about it all the time. Uh, but yes, we are big potato kind of people. And I'll be honest, man, I'm a Jew. Guess what we love? Potatoes. Potato latkes. Yes, of course. Specifically. Well, it's universal kind of food, man. Does everyone have potatoes? I think like a lot of places, uh, or just yes. Europe. Well, no, it is. <laughs> it is so. It's malleable. It's a tuber, I mean, you, right? You can yeah. put it like kind of anywhere. I mean, you know, have you seen The Martian? Like, you can even put it on Mars. Like, you know, yeah, so. potatoes. Yeah. Have you seen The Martian? You know, I have. I just forgot about the potato part. That's I guess. how he stays alive. Like, you know, you can be playing. That doesn't sound so bad to me, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, hey, I like a potato. I'll be the first one to say it. Yourself? Uh, oh, love potatoes. Well, that's the thing is that uh, um, I've, I've been like in like, a, a situation where I'm hanging out with like Russians and so forth. And they're like, oh, we're big drinkers. And like, you know, this. And I go, listen, we have two things in common we got drinking. And we got potatoes. And funnily and enough, they freaking love their potatoes. Funnily enough, they love it so much that they drink them. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Vodkas, That's what I'm talking. Fermented potatoes. Exactly. Potatoes. Uh, what's your favorite kind of potato? I was going to ask you like, that. Uh, so like, funny. like cooking type uh. of potato. Like, do you like them au gratin? Do you like them? You know em? what? I like a good garlic mash. Yeah. Honestly, I like mashed potatoes, man. You have not had my garlic mash. I have not. It is gorgeous. You've never offered. Oh yeah, no. I, <laughs> I, I roast my like garlic in like in butter for like two hours before I put Beautiful. them in there. Yeah. It's it, it is it is everything melts. I, I I'd say I, I used to be into big a big baked potato guy as a kid, I think. Same. It's too much food now. Yeah. Same. Right? Do you ever finish a baked potato? Not really. It feels so ugly. You know what? I would like kind of like what I would do is I kinda of hollow it out and then like mash those potatoes. What's what's put your, them back in. What's your baked potato topping of choice? Do you have a, any? Uh cheese bacon. And you give me some chives or some green onions. That's even better. I, I, I add sour cream to my mix. I'm a big sour cream guy. I was late to the sour cream party. It's delicious. It is. The it name is, is a, not at all indicative of what it tastes yeah, like. It's a, it's a cottage cheese. Like it's like, like, oh, that just sounds terrible. Cottages are awful. I want <laughs> mansion cheese. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I, I want city cheese. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, no, I love I love a good sour cream uh, chive and bacon. Uh, yeah, bacon. Mash. Bacon's important. Some cheese on top. Bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Do you like other? Well, so we're talking about we're, we've so far. Just just mentioned the the standard brown potato, right? Well, I mean, no, we were talking about potatoes in general, but I know. Go on. Are you a sweet potato guy? No, not at all. I, oh. I, I like sweet potato fries. I was gonna ask. It's everyone's favorite. I like them in fries, uh, but that's about as far as I go. You don't uh, like like a, ma and, and a mash like, mashed sweet potato you ever had? Not even. No, I mean I've had it. like some fucking maple syrup listen, and brown sugar. Listen, or something? listen, I don't hate them or anything like that, but you know it's desserty. 
Like, it, it, you know what? It is desserty. Yeah, like Thanksgiving, I'm kind of like maybe I'll put like maybe something that resembles a dollop on my on my plate. It's so sweet, this Thanksgiving one especially. Yeah, ex- and listen, I make honey butter carrots that are gorgeous. Like you know, like yeah, I, I don't I, I don't mind some sweet on my on my plate kind of thing to kind of counteract some of the salty. But like that's a li- it's a little much. It's a little much. French fries. Yep. Everyone's, <laughs> I love how excited you were. Everyone's favorite. I was, I was letting you out to. I was leaving it to dry there. Well, because it's national. It's National Potato Day, right? So fuck them. Fuck them. Internet. We're building a wall around the other potatoes. And we're gonna... how, how thin do you like your fries? I like them thin. Yeah. It unless I want them thick. Yeah. Here's unless a... I want a steak frite. Have you ever made your own French fries? I have. Yeah. It's not easy. It's okay. They don't wind up as good as they do in other places. Here's the trick. This is what I do. And you actually have to Hit do me. it right. You have to boil them. You slice. You already kind of even have them pre-sliced. Oh, you boil the potatoes first you to boil make them, them softer. First. Yeah, but you have to make sure they're properly strained because they'll explode in that hot oil because of all that extra uh, water kind of thing. But no, you put them in there. You kind of flash fry them. Boom. They're mashed potatoes on the inside and they're crispy on the outside. What, That's shape, what, you want. what shape do you prefer your fries in, man? Me? Yeah. Like, you want shoestring? You go shoestring or you go curly? Uh... I love I, I, I love a seasoned curly I, fry. I love a good curly fry. Don't get me wrong. You know, they're fun uh, to uh, eat. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like them. I, I do like them. Just like yeah, thin, Sh- almost shoestring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, you, know, yeah. you know, shoestring kind of thing. Uh, um, oh, oh, fuck. What, what's what's those potato chips uh, uh, that are kind of just just sticks? Tiny, tiny like yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, like potato sticks. Yeah, I think they're just called potato sticks. But yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, but it's, uh, I, I actually like. Again, you haven't had my French fries. I do them. I hand cut everything, and I make my. I actually make potato chips as well, and I cut them Not so all. fucking thin. And I do them all by hand. I don't even have like a, a mandolin or anything. Now, so so we're we're lucky that we have potatoes, right? But other places in the world, I think like so so tubers, and I might be if I'm completely off on this, Warren, tell me. But I'm I, sure they will. I believe tuber is what a potato is, and those are like the staple crop, right? Sta- staple crops meaning like it's the main thing people eat. So mm-hmm. in like Ireland, you, 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 you can live off. Of yeah, obvi- exactly. Yeah. So our staple crop in America is corn. It's not potatoes. It's yeah. corn and wheat. Oh, there, there's enough, a, right? yeah. There's a lot of reasons for that. Um, Yes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> and, conspiracy theory. And some places it. it's potatoes, like Russia, right? It's potatoes is yeah. their staple crop. Absolutely. But other places in the world, it is other varieties of tubers. So in Africa, it's a lot of like yams. Yeah. Or or in South America, sweet y- potatoes. Y- y- sweet potato and yucca. Yeah, yucca, which is mm-hmm. a relative of a potato. And I'll, mm-hmm. I'll fuck with some yucca fries. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'll make some yucca fries. Yeah, I mean, like, sure. Okay. Uh, I don't um, seek them out, but I'll have them. Lotus with them. root in Japan, dude. Now, if you ever tell me that I would like eating. Like deep fried, thinly sliced ro- lotus root. I go. I don't even know that that's a food. You're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> uh, it's delicious. It, it's really, 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 really good. All right, cool. I make it. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. No, We're um, swapping some recipes. So, so I remember uh, um, the first time I asked my mother because my mother's a fantastic cook, like home cooking, like proper mother kind of food. Uh, I asked her, "Hey, ma, like I've been cooking a lot lately. How do you make mashed potatoes?" And she just looked at me like I was the, like the biggest idiot in the world. No, 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 no. Because no. she was like. You boil them and then you mash them, and I was like, "That's it." Your mom is missing vital. Well, no, no. I mean, like, no. She goes, "You can do anything you want after you, that." You but no, some... no. But but just the one hundred one of it. Yeah, I, is, I. I was like, "No, it's not like you don't add anything to it. It literally is just mushed potatoes." She goes, "Yes." Yeah. And then you can add, no, listen. You can add your milk. You can add your you garlic, add mil- your butter, well, it's, it's, your it, salt. I think the standard would be butter, salt, and either milk or heavy whipping cream. Oh yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a big fan of heavy whipping cream. Like okay. you want soft? I guess you could just like yes, a mashed potato could just be a smushed up fucking potato. That's exactly what it is, though. Yeah, I mean, I look, that's right. what I mean about the 101 of it. It's a boiled potato that is that is just. You know, I just up. realized there's whipping cream in most mush because I I got into mushy peas. We talked mm-hmm. about with Rob Gazinski. That's just smashed up pe- yeah. blended peas and heavy whipping. Whipping cream, yeah, that's and it. Salt, yeah, that's I it. I guess for that fucking. No, uh, my favorite mashed potatoes. It's a. Uh, I'm gonna get fancy. It's the Robichon place okay. in Paris. Joel Robichon. Joel of course, Robichon, you all know. The, uh, chef of the century, kind of thing. Uh, um, it's fantastic, and so they have the most amazing mashed potatoes you'll ever have in your life. And not only that, I've talked to the chefs there before, and they say. No, like before you can even work any other station, you work the mashed mashed potatoes. Uh, you know, you station learn how to for a year. That makes sense. Just to learn how to do that one thing before they even let you make a salad. Oh, they're the best. Uh, it just makes me think of ratatouille. And, so we asked them, like, so what is it kind of thing? They're like, oh, you peel the potatoes, you boil them, uh, and they go, you see what you're seeing there in, like, your little bowl? Yeah, they go, that is half mashed potatoes, half butter. Yeah. It is literally a 50-50 split. And you know what? <sighs> 
Well, that's the problem with food. You mentioned french fries, right? So the problem with me and a lot of food is I have a lemon tree. You know about that. It's mm-hmm. prodigious. And one day I was like, I'm going to make lemonade. It's like fucking one part lemon, 12 part sugar. Yeah. And then like french fries, you're like, great, let's do this. Oh, I need to fucking boil like a quart of just disgusting hot yeah. grease. Yeah, but you like, know what? But here's the great thing about that though. You can reuse that that oil. You can. And I also have a green I have a I have a um a green a, fryer. a green fryer. Yeah. Uh, I have yeah. a hot air fryer. Yeah, you, you can yeah, you can reuse that I can oil. Deep fry without oil. Yeah, totally, yeah. totally. And I I use olive oil. I'm a, I'm, I'm a fancy pants. I do olive oil. Yeah, people I've like been the, using pe- olive oil on my steak and I realized that is that's why they're all burning so quickly. I didn't realize that they had a di- they burn at different temperatures. They do. And but also like I actually use olive oil. I use oil olive my, oil all purpose when I, I was using yeah. it. Uh, yeah. yeah, me too. And like sometimes you want that. You want to crisp out like your steak. Yeah. The and then, then you can put it. You can put it in the broiler and all that kind of stuff. You know, meat and potatoes. That's and you what know, it goes great on. with steak potatoes. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. There exactly. You you know. uh, I wish they had a blooming potato. Oh, like like a, like a like you an know, awesome blossom. Yeah, is that's the onion thing from? I mean, isn't isn't that like isn't that kind of what a, like, a, like a stuffed baked potato is? I guess, anyway? but no one like carves it cool enough. I want one where you could be like flip flip flip. Yeah, flip. yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, like, Remember, I I only been to Outback once, but that fucking blooming <laughs> onion blew my mind. Like, I was it's like, still there. It keeps still coming, there. man. You're just onion, onion, onion. It's a lot of onion. You gotta like onion, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, uh, you ever did the stinking roast? I haven't. We've talked about that. The garlic restaurant. I would love to it go. It is fucking. You said we can go let's do it let's do, do this. they have potatoes there fuck yeah then we should go we and should ladies and gentlemen you should go too to wherever you can get potatoes because it's national potato day it's national potato Gu- day guys and look learn a lesson from history they can go away just that quickly yeah exactly there next was thing a you know, famine next thing you know no potatoes by the way i no was, Irish I was so off on that right because i thought the potato famine was where they ran out of potatoes <laughs> it's the opposite they had no other food but potatoes <laughs> yeah yeah exactly but it made you like the potato famine sounds like oh fuck we we potatoes We're are out of extinct potatoes. in the island of ireland there, there are more people outside like there are more irish people ethnic irish people outside of ireland than there are in ireland now because that's how they much, wanted potatoes yeah in the united states i think it's like two three five times we more love Love you, Irish. Ireland. Irish. That, that, that's where I came from. Shout out to Ireland. We're going to save it for Irish Potato Day. Today, yeah. <laughs> it's all about you, the red, white, and blue. Uh, I'm Matt. I am Kieran Culkin. And Kieran, what do we do at the end of every uh, show? Well, we warn people. Uh, we warn them to like, <laughs> try not to suck too many dicks. But if you do, send pics. Send them to the National Potato Farming Association. I, I hope they look like potatoes. Go to potato.com. Find out wherever those people are and send them dick pics. You have our permission. Find me, gag me, take me to the bunny ranch. Find me, gag me. A Bunny Ears LLC production. You are freaking lumberjack!